Welcome to another episode of Pakistan on a Plate. My name is Nilofar Afridi Kazi. Today, my hosts are a P family from Khanewal, the Imams, the neighboring district of Multan. In fact, Khanewal became a separate district only in 1985. Before that, it was part of the Greater Multan area. The Imams of Khanewal have a lineage which connects them to the saints of the past. They are also Sayyids, which means that they are the descendants of the Prophet, peace be upon him. It's such a fascinating story how travelers came and went through this gorgeous land of Pakistan, intermittent. historical archive storing away all our ancestors smells aromas tastes and a mirror to our past the imam's household chef in multan is a treasure trove of local culinary delights main jab naam tasir ka zaya main 14 saal se hota tha khana karne ka aata tha chef par mere ke hi tha and today kasu saab will show us how to make organic Suhanjana Moringa Gosht. Kasu explains in detail the quality of the moringa and how it must be cooked. When the plant is green, not white, and if the flowers are not completely removed, the dish will become bitter. He preferred the recipe to use meat instead of chicken. Here it goes. Clean peel and boil the peas first. Clean thoroughly and remove the flowers of the moringa. Ye dekhiye ye pani ja raha hai matti wale. Ye sara. Ha ye bilkul kachra jaisa lagta hai. उसके बाद लसन अदरक का पेस्ट बना के पानी पानी के साथ एड कर दिया इसमें वो उसके बाद फिर मैंने थोड़ा सा फ्राई किया उसको लसन में कुछ भून गया और ये भी भून गया उसके बाद पानी डाल के बीच में गोश्त डाल दिया ठीक है खाली गोश्त और नमक थोड़ा सा जब गोश्त आधा गल जाता है ना उसके बाद मैं टमाटर डालता हूँ उसके बाद एक डेढ़ चम्मच लाल मिर्चों का डाला था और आधा चम्मच हल्दी का और बड़ा वाला एक चम्मच सूखा धनिया Give it a final stir and take it off the heat. This lovely dish is tangy, healthy, a super food and a culinary delight. Enjoy. I could not leave Multan without giving my respects and salam to the blessed saints. Sheikh Ruhuddin Abdul Fateh Shrine, also known as Sharukh e Alam, the pillar of the world from the 13th century, is buried here. The shrine is located in central Multan on top of a hill on the northern side of the walled city. The most prominent feature of the Sharukh-e-Alam shrine is its dome, 
which is considered one of the largest in the world. The second, in fact. The next shrine I visited was the tomb of Sheikh Bauddin Zakaria, who was the grandfather of Sheikh Fateh. The Multani blue tiles and the beautiful domes are magnificent and breathtaking. The birds, especially the pigeons, which are a symbol of peace, are everywhere in the courtyards of these shrines. Seeing them fly, flutter all around is a meditative experience. But the space which moved me personally the most, which I find extremely powerful, was Hazrat Shams of Tabrezi Shrine. Tucked away in the corner, it has a serenity and silence which can only be experienced. The grandeur is in its simplicity, the beauty is in its stillness amidst the maddening crowd all around. Amidst the noise and teeming of people, you can imagine Hazrat Shams smile. In that moment, everything makes sense. Blessed are those who visit this city. Until next time, Odafis.